Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Short Stories with Stefan, a reading rainbow runway roller coaster dedicated to bringing you fictional fun in the fantastic form of free internet content. Let's get to it. Why did I run away from home? Simple. I learned the truth. Arriving home to an empty house was not out of the ordinary at the time. Those days, alone time was precious. I looked around for my iPad. It was not in any of its usual spaces and spots. Then, I remembered my parents had used it for something last night, and it was most likely in their room. Looking around their room without them present felt odd, but I pressed on anyway. Finally, I spotted it at the top of their bookshelf. Grabbing a step stool, I reached up and grabbed it. I was not cautious and lost my grip and footing. Feeling myself falling backwards, I reached out for the bookshelf and thankfully took hold of the shelf to steady myself. This sudden movement caused one book to fall off the shelf. Picking it up revealed it was not a book, but a diary. My heart immediately picked up speed like only a taboo can inspire. Back and forth, I swayed like a palm tree in a hurricane. Put it back, read it. Put it back, read it. Put it back, read it. You could blame my underdeveloped brain, some undiagnosed disorder, or sheer evolutionary age-appropriate curiosity. All guesses are welcome, because none of them change the result. People's relationships to their diary is a living one, writing stories, love notes, prose, the deepest thoughts and darkest desires in a duologue with oneself and the page. I read line by line each conversation my dad had with himself. I became insatiable, outrageous, and reckless, wanting only to read as much as possible. I quickly scoured the room until I also found my mom's. No two people will ever be the same when one of them knows the other's inner thoughts. Our thoughts are not meant to be given breath, or not all of them, anyway. I learned that the day I violated my parents' thoughts by reading their diaries cover to cover. For me, there now exists no world before reading their diaries. I live only in a post-truth world, and my parents were understandably upset. So, my advice to all you keepers of your innermost thoughts on the page, either hide your diaries better, or don't write so honestly about your kids. Thanks for watching and listening to Short Stories with Stefan, a Koi Pond Studios production. Don't forget to hit the big trinity of an online entity, like, subscribe, and share. If you want to hear my thoughts about each story, check out the podcast too, anywhere you listen, for added commentary on these stories and more. And I'll see you next week for another original short story. Bye-bye.